Hi guys, Mike back again with an unboxing of a Kickstarter. Um, I've got loads of Kickstarters in the works, <laughs> and this particular one is um, a late backer. I didn't, ki I didn't actually kickstart this one, um, and then wish I had. And then when I was just looking on Kickstarter, as you do, um, you can look back through the projects that you've shown an interest in your starred projects. And this was one of them. And I just went back on to have a look and read the comments and stuff and see what I missed out on, really. And found out they were accepting late pledges um, earlier on this year. So I decided to late pledge, basically, which involved just emailing them. Um, and then they opened a pledge manager for me. And basically, I just picked and chose um, what I wanted from their Kickstarter. Um, really easy, really um, efficient no issues whatsoever um paid for paid for my items paid for shipping job done basically um and it's arrived today um like i say i'm a late backer haven't been penalized for being a late backer i mean that they were shipping these things out um all week and stuff so yeah i mean i, I think i've received it roughly the same sort of time as everyone else um so that's really nice to see so what is it you are asking it is Battle Systems, Urban Apocalypse Terrain. Um, just out of interest, it's come shipped from Wayland Games. So they had their delivery into Wayland. Um, and I've got my little invoice here of everything I ordered. And it looks about right. So there we go. Um, so we're just going to have a look. Because I've never had this terrain before. I've seen it. I saw it at Salute. I, they've got a... A medieval type, a fantasy dungeon terrain, medieval type terrain, and uh, sci-fi terrain. And this is the urban apocalypse terrain, which I'm very interested in getting for my Project Z, um, my Walking Dead Kickstarter that I've backed. And just wanted some terrain that I could just build quickly and take down quickly. I didn't want another set of terrain because I've got my, my board set up for Dead Man's Hand. I didn't want another like big board set of terrain that I had to kind of store. I wanted all this easily stored. So first things first, comes in a in a in a big box, no damage at all, plenty of bubble wrap, which is always nice to see. So we'll just dump that and we'll see what we sort of see. So, like I say. I've never had any of this terrain before, so I'm not 100% sure what we get. So we'll have a look. So what I should have had is a fire station. So so basically, for those of you who don't know, it comes flat pack terrain, and you do, it's cardboard, and you basically um, clip it all together, push it all, push fit all together, and um, you've got terrain. You know, there's walls, there's roofs, floors, Ladders, all sorts of detailed terrain. So I need a fire station, which I've got. Police precinct, which I've got. I think these are extras. I think these are um, stretch goals that that were included in the um, in in the backing and being a late backer. I was I was uh, able to get the stretch goals as well. So I've got another thing of ruined walls, ruined walls. I've got shipping container, two shipping containers. So again, we'll see what I'm supposed to have. Oh, I've got another load of stuff here, crikey. And a pack of exterior walls and really useful items. Oh gosh, I'm got, I think I'm probably gonna have to open this and see if I've got what I should have. Got a thing of clips, which um, clip all the terrain together. So you pop all these out and clip terrain together. Um, and then this is the, the set, I think. So you get um, first and foremost, you get a, a mat that your terrain goes on, which is really nice actually. That's proper job. I like that. Really nice mat, so all your terrain can get built up on here, two foot by two foot. Um, so there's a rubberized mat, and then. Basically, more clips and a whole load of terrain, basically. So I'm going to crack all this open and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, yeah, 
So yeah, I'll catch you in a second. All right, and guys, I think we finally got to the bottom of what I'm supposed to have and what I'm not supposed to have. <laughs> or what I'm supposed to have, I should say. It's, um, yeah, it's, you get so much stuff. I can't believe how much stuff you get. I've been having a little play, and I'll show you now. I've um, broken open the shipping containers just a little bit, just to have a little go. Um, I should have mentioned everything's double-sided. Um, yeah, so that's uh, clearly... Uh, Clearly good, so you can you can display it in, in multiple ways, but I'll show you that now. So we've got shipping containers, uh, and again I'll show you what they look like. Um, it's upside down. Like I said, a police precinct, that was, so that was an add-on bit. So you get two of the same sheet, so you can make up a police precinct in your scenery. And then there's fire station, again, which was an add-on. Then we get a load of really useful items, and they're all labelled, so we've got chairs, Half canopies, shelving, stairs, fire escapes, all sorts of signs. Signs are double sided, so you've got fire exit signs on one side and sanctuary warning, hazardous waste on the other side. Stairs going up and down, so that's really useful items. So you get one, two, three of those. Then we've got street items, so we've got signs and makeshift barriers and a fridge, dumpster, road barrier. Kind of uh, road work barriers, fence panels, and you get one, two of those. Then furniture, dining room table, wardrobe, sofa, office desk, vending machine, and you get one, two, three, four of those. There's a double bed in there as well. Loads and loads of stuff, and that's just sort of that's just accessory stuff, and a couple of add-ons. This is the kind of meat and potatoes of it, if you like. Oh, got these as well, add-ons as well. So there's a diner, Hawthorne Diner, which can have a pool table or got a casino set up, depending on what side you use. There's a bar, like a curved bar with beer pumps. So there's two sprues, mate. That's one. That's another add-on. Then we've got mixed scatter items. So we've got air conditioning units, barricade planks, manhole covers, and office chairs. Dumpsters, fridge again, different signs, and again they're double-sided. Um, so <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, Winchester Arms there from um, that's from Shaun of the Dead, I think. And on the other side, they got the Purple Pants store or Purple Plants store, but they've phased out the L, so it looks like Purple Pants. And if you go back through Battle Systems previous videos. There was a there was an incident with a pair of purple pants, so that was <laughs> so that's a little throw to that I'm I'm guessing. So mixed scatter items, so that's cool. I also ordered a, a two story house. It's a suburban house with a driveway, and that's made up of like loads of sheets. So you've got this is sheet three of three, then you get two of three, two of three, so you get two of those, and then you get one of three and one of three to make up your house. Again, double-sided interior and exterior doors, uh, walls even. So that's that. And again, so like I say, this is the meat and potatoes of the set where you've got a boatload of interior walls and again, double-sided. So you get a load of those. One, two, three, four. Four load of interior walls and then a load of exterior walls. Four, five, five of those. And again, double-sided, so you've got different frontage of different walls for exterior, and you've got add-on bits as well, scatter terrain, which is cool. Then we've got some ruined walls, again, double-sided, so this could be a floor, another side of the floor. Again, all the signs are double-sided. It's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Um, so you get two of those. Then we've got some small roofs and floors. We've got some roof trims, big sign. Attack of the Zombie Giraffes on Stilts, that's a, that's a good one. Sorry, come off camera there. It's billboard bits, roof floor. So these are double sided because so it's a roof on one side or a floor on the other side. And then we've got big floors, or big roofs I should say. So this is a roof and then the floor on the other side. Crates, again just, um, yeah, and a load of those different um, Different floor coverings, so they got some. There we go, there's a different one there. So it's absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm gonna. This is just a video just to show you what you get. Absolute ton of stuff. Um, 
I've, I've, I've put together one of the shipping containers just so you can have a look. Um, so I mean, it all kind of just clips together. Let's, uh, so it just clips together. This is reversible, so you can have a white, kind of rusted out shipping container or a blue one. Um, this is the base, so you can put the base in. It just goes in, and you've got the roof there. So, so yeah, I mean, really nice. Great stuff. And then, I mean, I just put together a little crate as well. A little um, meds crate. So, just a little lid. So, yeah, I'll put a load of this together and show you what it looks like all set up. But uh, that's just a little introduction to the Battle Systems Urban Apocalypse Terrain, which is, well, looking fantastic. So, I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.